you know, when I started this, I said, let's make some mistakes or something like that. So this could be one of them, but. Woo, it is warm. I wish this air conditioner worked. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is our 1968 Playmore, which we finished in our season one of Trailer Trash to Treasure. And last week we started a part one video of installing a window unit air conditioner underneath the bed of this camper. And that involved tearing out the old bed and uh, building an intake shroud to allow us to precisely place that under the floor and then hopefully this week build our bed frame around it. So the first thing I have to do today is to find out exactly where that shroud's going to be so that I can uh, cut openings for it on the bottom of our camper to allow for cool air to come in and cool the condenser coil. And once I have done that and I know where that shroud goes, then I know where the air conditioner goes, then I can know where my bed's going to go. Uh, I've already got a pretty good idea of where everything's going from uh, looking at my SketchUp model and comparing it to the real thing. One thing I realized is when I built the SketchUp for this, I didn't actually include the framing of the deck. I just kind of built the deck and I was like, well, that's the way it is. I don't need to, you know, spend a bunch of time modeling this. Uh, well, you know, when you go back and look at things, you find out that maybe you should have modeled that when you were doing it. But anyway, so I figured all that out and um, I think I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of the camper. <laughs> Sounds exciting. So this is about where the air conditioner and the shroud is going to go. I had to locate where the framing was underneath here because the intakes are this size and this size. So uh, now that I now that I kind of know where that's going to go, I can figure where that's out and drill some holes down and then come back with the jigsaw and cut them out. Uh, one thing, I was gonna leave this floor just where it is and just cut right through it, but I have realized that this is actually a floating floor, so you don't really want to drill or nail or make holes in it because it's not actually secured to the floor. So I do want this floor to appear to go underneath the air conditioner, and there's actually about three and a half or four inches I could go back until I hit the support for this. So I'm actually going to cut it back from this point about three inches, pretty flush with the front of this. So one other thing I've been thinking about is this back little shelf that I built thinking it would be a handy spot to set your cell phone or glasses or something like that. And the truth is when we've camped in this, I don't put anything on there. The shelf is useless. <laughs> so if I take that out, I get an extra couple of inches on either side to, you know, wrap the bedding in and things like that. So I honestly think that's the smarter thing to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out, uh, which means I'm going to ultimately have a little additional finishing to do back there, but.
So I realized as I was working last night that things weren't quite coming out to plan, let's say. Okay. So, uh, let me show you what I mean. This intake is too tall, so um, when I put the sort of bed slats in here, it pushes into them, basically. So I need to raise this up about three quarters of an inch. And what I came up as the best solution is just to uh, rip down some scrap pieces of uh, two by four that I had in the basement, uh, two three quarter inch, and then I'll use that to raise all these up just a little bit. You know, I always hate making mistakes like that, but you know, sometimes that's what happens and you just fix it and you move on. Okay, so that's got all my spacers in place. So that will bring the uh, bed slats that I'm going to put in up to the right level. So now, with that sorted out, I'm going to turn my attention back to getting the air conditioner mounted where it's supposed to be. Woo! It is warm. I wish this air conditioner worked. So I don't know how easy it's going to be for you to see anything that I'm doing. But my idea is to screw up from the bottom, secure the shroud in the front and the back down here, and then do... Oh, okay, that worked okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. So now I'm going to cut just... A little piece of material to tack down behind there to keep that from sliding backwards. Okay, so I need to make an exhaust for this that comes out here and just goes straight back here. You know, when I started this, I said, let's make some mistakes. This could be one of them. But I need to run it back here and I need to cut this back floppy panel so that I can run this straight back and out through the back hatch. So let's figure this out. There we go. Okay, so for our duct foam to size. Another piece over here and a piece on top, a little bit of bracing to keep it. This could be the stupidest part of it, but it could also work. Now I know you look at it and you're like, wow, that's really wasting a lot of a lot of storage space. And yes, but I don't care. That's why. That's, that, that's the but. But I don't care. It's my camper. I'll do what I want. Gonna go right there. I've cut just a little bit of um, just scrap wood to kind of make a little spot where that butts up against so it can't expand outward. I'm sure this is terribly exciting, so uh, let's just let's just skip to the end. Okay, let's go up the hatch and look at it back there. Okay, so obviously I'm going to need some sort of uh, vent on the back hatch so that this can ventilate without having to sit here with my back door open all the time But I want to test this and see how it does. So I'm gonna leave it open for right now See what happens Oh, yeah, it's definitely getting cool. That feels nice. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a little bit to run and see what happens Okay, so I feel like I can't really call this the finished product 
until I have an effective way of venting the exhaust. That's kind of the one big part of this that I haven't solved. And I, I don't know if I have the best solution, but I have a nice stupid solution for it uh, that I think, I think you all will enjoy very much. I need a little sliding hatch on the back hatch. I uh, went and told Catherine what I was thinking about doing and she said instead of doing all that why don't you just block the rest of the space off and then just take the door off when you need air conditioning. Why not? Why not? Because it's not complicated that's why. But anyway she's right so that's what I'm gonna do. She said don't even worry about this area here but I, I think I would like to have a little slide here uh, just so I can like throw my jack stands and extension cord and stuff back there. But probably what I should have done came up with in the first place. Save myself a bunch of time thinking through that. That should be good enough to keep creepy crawlies out. We'll see when there's a raccoon in there. All right, so that's it. There's the air conditioner, it works. Uh, I need to make a screen for the um, back exhaust to you know, keep critters from calling in that way when the back hatch is open for exhaust. So next time we'll be building the bed frame and I'm pretty excited about that. So uh, looking forward to it. And we'll finish some little trim work that I haven't quite completed on this. and. And in the back there and we will get this finished up and looking like a camper again so we can take it out this fall and do a little uh little camping when the weather's a little bit nice although with the air conditioner we might not be in such bad shape uh and i will also be doing a future video where we convert this over to 30 amp and uh put a plug down here for the air conditioner and what the heck i may even put another plug up front because it seems like maybe we could use that Lots of things planned, so thanks for watching. Make sure and like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.